If you went through life and there was a film that God put on you that everybody could watch, every single detail, you guys get that kind of scrutiny on the football field. Everything we do is being watched. So remember, we talked about it yesterday. Attitude will always result in an action. So if you have a poor attitude, it's going to result in a poor action at some point. It's going to show up. If you have the right attitude, it's going to produce right actions. Come on, come on, Mitch. Punch through! Punch through! Come on! Use that weapon up! Punch! Punch! Punch through! I really think that they're they're ready to go and that it's going to be a really special year just because of you know everything that's happened. I think there's a lot to prove still too. I mean, two years of going six and five, um, there's a lot that they need to prove to themselves of we're a good football team. But I think it it just brings out it's going to bring obviously some great competition. You know, there's not going to be any games where our guys can take off. It's going to be week in and week out preparation, um, probably unlike any other that we faced. But I'm looking forward to our guys competing against the top players in the country. My goodness, it should be the best camp of all time. We have one opportunity to go and show America that we're going to be an FBS football team. You get one chance, gentlemen, and it's coming up really soon. You know, my first thought was that we're not playing for a title. You know, we're not playing for a ring. And I was concerned that that was going to really affect the motivation of our team. And as soon as we started our summer workouts in June, I quickly realized I don't think that's going to be a problem. Is that if you're a competitive young man and you put a helmet on and you step on that football field, uh, you're going to play hard. You're going to play hard because you're well, of what you're representing, who you want to become. And I don't think it's going to be a problem. Great job, gentlemen. Great job. Proud of you. We'll work hard. I promise we'll take care of you. We'll take very good care of you. We'll make sure you're ready to play your best game against Baylor. Y'all understand that? You ready? Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Hey, hold it down that whole first half, man. Yep. Hey, make sure you got your knee pads in. Because you've already Leave no doubt what you what you prepared for today. Everybody got me? Yes, Proud of you. All right, let's go put it out there today. Test is up, test number one's today. All right, let's go get it done. You show me since February, you want it. And I told you, every day is a journey. So all I'm telling you is enjoy it. Like Coach Gill said, enjoy the process, enjoy this college football experience. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Hey, God, like I told you, we got one mind, we got one heartbeat. Now it's time to burn Bay up. Yes, Everybody follow me? Yes, sir. We got one, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. Fifth is an absolutely picture perfect day for football here in Central Texas. So the Baylor Bears will tee it up and kick it away. Alex Probert close to a sure thing. And the kick is good. Powder, caught, touchdown, Gandy Golden. And look at this, a funky two-point conversion attempt results in a pair. Buckshot Calvert is feeling it out there. He should. And we're tied at 14. So 30 minutes in the books and a whole lot of football remaining.
second half to come down harder. Second half to come down hey, harder. Hey, man, we got on the ropes, y'all. Let's go. 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 Let's go.